Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I haven't vlogged in ages because I've just been having some time off over Christmas. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Um, it's really dark at the moment because it is 7.40 a.m. and I have just left the house to go and get my Sainsbury's the clicking effect. It's so cold. I'm waiting for my car to de-ice so I thought I would start my vlog here. So I today I'm going to be doing um, a at home with me vlog. We're in lockdown, um, the kids aren't at school so we're homeschooling um, and I just kind of thought it would be fun to do a vlog at home with us vlog. Um, so I'm going to take you with us today. Um, I'm just looking at the window to see if the boys there. Um, just yeah, I'm going to take you with us today and show you what we get up to. Home. I am going to un and what unwrap? What am I going to be unpack? <laughs> I'm going to unpack all of this. Um, but I'm just going to get a snack out and some juice for the boys and take it up to them because. That's what they love, little princes. Um, I think I might put some of these. Milk chocolate mini rice cakes and then some juice. So I'll unpack this with you after that. Hello. <laughs> I bought you a snacky. Snacks, snacks, packy nuts. Some chocolate rice cakes. Yeah. <laughs> some blackcurrant money. Yeah. There you go, that's your drink. And there's your drink. That's not blackcurrant. It is. Honestly, give it a try and it will be blackcurrant. It is. Honestly, try it. You still asleep, Daddy? Yeah. He is? Yes. So we are just in bed having... What are you having? Rice, chocolate rice, mini chocolate rice cake. Oh, is it nice? Riley, is it nice? Yummy? Chloe's still asleep over there. Just having a cup of tea and then we've got some homeschooling today, haven't we? You've got a meeting with your class at nine, haven't you? And what do you have in your meeting? What do you do in your meeting? Hmm? What do you do in your meeting? What does the teachers tell you in your meeting? Um, <coughs> we have to wait. We can pretend to be magical creature or fairy. Yeah, that was yesterday's activity, wasn't it? And what were you? What was your idea? What was... My idea was to be a magical creature and go in space. Go in space. That's a cool one, isn't it? I wonder what we'll have to do today. And you did some writing yesterday, didn't you? <coughs> and some numbers. We've got, um, it's good, we've got like this little app on our phone um, and the teacher like put stuff in it, um, like all their activities, all their lessons um, and we just kind of do what we can. Um, yesterday we did all three, the other day we, we didn't do all three. Um, so yeah, I don't want to, I'm probably get more stressed out about it than Corey does but we're doing what we can, aren't we, Oates? They go, they go, they go, they go, they go, they go. So I've got go. helper number one and I'm, helper number two. I'm the king of bagels. And you're going to help me put away the shopping, aren't you? And all the bagels. And you like doing this job. And I like eating all the bagels. You like this job, though, don't you? Why don't you? Can you put them away for me? You know where they go, don't you? Oh, they go in the snack cupboard, Marley's favourite place. So we've got lots of yummy food. I've got strawberries, some ham, some sausages. The boys absolutely love these. Some worms. Some worms? Yeah, these are worms. Turkey mints. You're going to help me make spaghetti bolognese tonight. Yay! Yeah? I can't hear myself think, and it all just looks like an absolute mess. 
but it's lovely. That's so sweet helping me. But I'm gonna have to rearrange things. Away. Thank you for your help, boys. Mr. Puppet wants to help next time. Oh, yeah, I want him to help. Thank Mr. you for your help. Mr. Ghost wants to help next time. Okay. These are like lounge rubber pajamas from Sisters and Seekers. I think. I um, they're like waffle. They're really nice. So, we need anything. to go and get dressed now, or should we have some breakfast first? Uh, breakfast. Breakfast. What are we going to have for breakfast? Bagels. Bagels, yummy. Boys, yeah. got a delivery for you. What is it? I don't know. Open. Soy kids! Yeah, soy kids! Oh my God! I think it's from Joe. Joe Boyle? Yeah. Joe! On it. That one's yours. Otis number. Ten. And this one, what's that oh say? Oh my god! What number's that, Molly? Nine! Nine! Oh my god! Nine! 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 Wow, you are lovely, Marley, aren't you? Did you say thank you? Marley is eating his peanut butter bagel, aren't you, Marley? I thought I Daddy and Otis are doing um, uh, uh, Otis's lunch, uh, and I'm sitting in his class, and I'm having my breakfast. So I've got plain coconut yogurt with berries and honey. Oh, so this is today's outfit of the day. Talk me through it. The duck blue on the bottom. Yeah. This is light blue and there's a bit of white. And um, on my iPad, I done that on my iPad when I was colouring and it looked good. So I decided to do it now when I get dressed. Oh wow, well, you look so good. No, I've just got out of the shower, so I just thought I would oh, do my makeup, dry my hair with you, um, show you what I use. Um, so I went on holiday not too long ago, um, before we were in lockdown, so I'm a tiny bit tanned, not like super tanned. So I've been mixing my Beauty Pie um, tinted moisturiser that I used in the summer little bit of that but it's quite dark so I mix it with a little bit of NARS sheer glow foundation but I'm running out of this so I have to apply it like that <laughs> damp beauty blender it's such a nice day today and I feel like when I do my makeup it just makes me feel more motivated and I get on with more um I've got to film a few things for Instagram content today so if I just get up and do my makeup straight away, I just find it so much easier. Otherwise, I'll just sit there and I'll be like, no, not for me today. I can't do it. Otherwise, I just feel really sluggish. And at the moment, you're obviously going to have days like that. But too many days like that just make you feel rubbish, I think. I've got to be a teacher today. <laughs> I've got to be a cleaner. I've got to be a dog walker. I've got to be a mum. I've got to be a wife. I've got to be a Instagrammer, a YouTuber. <laughs> My tasks today are never ending, so I need some makeup. Uh, this is my NARS Creamy Concealer in Shade Custard. This is kind of a rush job, but this is how I do it every day, a rush job. Corey's downstairs with the kids at the moment. They're having some screen time, iPad time, Nintendo Switch time. Um, 
because he's not in football until a little bit later this morning. So that really helps me out um, because I can get stuff done and then when he goes, I turn into teacher. Eyebrows, I've had lots of questions about eyebrows at the moment. So to begin with, I use this, it's actually so old that it's rubbed off the benefit. I don't even know what it's called. It's like a benefit brows mini thing. Um, I use my gorgeous girl Jess Hunt's Refi Beauty brows. But this just kind of, I like the um, wand on it and it just kind of brushes up my eyebrows and gives them like a tiny bit. It's running out so it's hardly got any in, but it just gives them a tiny bit of. Then I use the Refi Beauty um, pencil. It's got a really nice fine, um, I don't know what that's called, fine thing. And I just do little strokes to kind of fill them in a bit. Lots of people ask about my brows and ask what I do to them, but I literally, I never pluck them. I don't get them threaded. I just leave them and I feel like that's the best way. If you've got eyebrows that you're not happy with and you want them fuller, or more bushy, you just have to leave them. At the beginning, so when I was in school, I plucked them so much, I think everyone did. Like it was the fashion to have really thin eyebrows. Well, I thought it was a fashion, I don't know if it was. So my eyebrows were so thin, so I used to pluck them like every single day. So I went through a phase of having like, just they were horrible, like they were all, the hairs were growing back, but you just have to go through that period, that phase to come out the other end basically. I think you can get like brow serums and stuff. Um, I pluck them in the middle like once every few months when I get a couple of hairs. Um, but my eyebrows are just fully natural and outgrown and that's just the way I like them. And then I use the best product ever by Refi Beauty. So this is like the glue and you put it on and you might think like, whoa, there's loads of glue on my eyebrow. But then you use the other end and it just kind of wipes off and... and then you can kind of see if you need any more if it needs any more filling in I mean my brows are not Jess Hunt's they're not yours Jess but this product makes you feel like you have her brows so yeah you need it then I use Hoola it's really running out all my Benefit products are running out. A little MAC eye, um, eyeshadow brush. Beauty Pie shade Ring My Bell um, blusher, I love it. Chanel Universal Bronze. This brush from Beauty Pie it's an all over face powder brush. This would be really good for um, the Chanel bronzer, but I don't use it for that, I use it for my blusher. But if you're looking for a brush for the Chanel bronzer that's a good price, I recommend that. Benefit Eye Brightening Pencil. L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I work with L'Oreal and um, I've advertised this and it's really good. The brush is super thin. Um, yeah. Most asked question is my lips. So I use Iconic Nude Charlotte Tilbury Liner and I don't have any fill or anything in my lips. They're quite they're not small, but they're not big. They're just my lips, but I've always been a little bit self-conscious of them because this side kind of goes down a little bit more. Anyway, they're my lips, so I've got to go on with it. But I just kind of overline them a tiny bit. So I feel like liner is your best friend. You don't need filler. You don't need anything in your lips. Just get one of these. I mean, you don't want to go too crazy because there's overlining and then there's overlining. And then Honey Love by MAC. I don't even know why I looked at the bottom of it. I know what it is. I've used it for, my mum used it growing up. Just used to borrow her lipstick and then 
that's always the one I've used, literally always. And then I go over with Nude Kate um, by Charlotte Tilbury on just like in the middle because the MAC one is matte and this one is a bit more glossy, but I don't like gloss. So I just kind of, yeah. Oh, and then I use a bit of Iconic Illuminator. So I'm gonna use the my favorite thing ever, the Air Dyson Aero. So loads of people wonder if this is worth the money and I got it gifted, but I 100% would buy it. It is so good. I use it every day, not every day. <laughs> I use it every single time I wash my hair just because I usually only really have time to kind of dry my hair and this is doing both so usually I would dry my hair and then curl it or dry my hair and then straighten it but this you just dry your hair and it it styles it for you so I'm gonna get it to the point so I use this attachment to roughly dry it and then I change to these attachments to curl it but that dries it off um so I'm gonna get to the point that it's curling time with the um these heads and I'll come back on and show you how I do that because I get a lot of questions. So, it's like 80% dry. So I'm just gonna show you how I style it. So I use the small head, curling head, because I just feel like the curls last for longer. <laughs> Turn it off and then I let it out. You might think like, whoa, but when it's finished, I promise it looks lovely. Sometimes I section my hair, sometimes I don't. If you've got thick hair, probably section it. If you don't, go with it. That side's done, so now you take the that one off and put this one on and then do the other side because that blows it that way. Done. So this kind of is still a bit um, hot this side so I use a tangle teaser for one that's cleaner. So that'll drop, obviously, throughout the day, but not massively. And then this will last me like quite a few days. So it'll last me today, tomorrow, and then the day after I'll wear it up in a ponytail. So I feel like it's really worth the money. <laughs> Corey's moaning he doesn't want to be in it because of his hair. <laughs> He's going to work now. Don't go. <laughs> don't go. Lucas. Oh my god, don't even. Oh my kiss, kiss, kiss. god, look at in here. They've changed into their Fulham kits, haven't you, boys? Kiss, kiss. Is it bring your wife to work day? Is it bring your wife to work day? <laughs> bring your wife to work day. <laughs> bring me to work with you. Go away. Go away. I ain't got a trim. I don't want to be can on you, there. Can you bring me to work with me today? Go. From me. You look handsome, even with no trim. You're silly. Don't be too long. Can't wait till it's you're home. Can't wait till you're home. <laughs> the boys have just got a Christmas present from my auntie, um, which they're playing with, which is such a good idea. Um, I'll show you. And they're cushions, aren't they? Yeah. So they're soft. Yeah, they're soft, so that means they don't hurt. We've got real ones that are hard, but now we've got ones that are soft, so it doesn't hurt. Yeah. I am wearing um, this old two-piece from Zara. It's one of my favourites. Um, it's like knitted. I love the colour of it. Um, and it's lunchtime now, so... 
I'm gonna make some lunch for me and the boys. I think I'm gonna make them like all sorts. The boys love all sorts. It's basically a plate full of all sorts. <laughs> Um, and they love it and it's so easy and um, so yeah I'll put you somewhere so you can make lunch with me they're just crazy just, just I haven't even done any school work with Otis today so I feel really bad but I've just had loads of I got ready I've had for filming some Instagram content I had to film and that had to be over before this afternoon so I had to do that so I'm just going to do the Work this afternoon. So this is what's for lunch. I've got some chicken soup. I had the other half of this yesterday. I'm gonna have some of this hummus. It's amazing. And some pita bread and of course a diet coke. And then this is the boys. What have you got oats? Some grapes, yeah. some strawberries, mm -hmm. some blueberries, some crisps. A ham sandwich and, and some, some sausage. sausages. Nice lunch. Oh yeah. Thank you, Mama. That's all right, baby. So we're just gonna have our lunch now, and then it's homeschooling time. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you ready? I'm born ready. <laughs> I'm born ready. You are born ready, baby. We are just gonna play this game. It's a really good game. Yes. Um, from Orchard Toys, which I feel like is such good games for kids. Molly, put that one down. Smudge, shush. So, what you have to do is you have to pick a colour, and then you have to pick everything that is that colour, and then you have to go and choose the word. Yeah, but how do you win? You don't win, it's just a game. Okay? Now, Molly, can you go over and try and find the word, the black word? Good boy! That's really good! I need to make me up my time. Right, so now it's Otis's turn. What colour are you going to pick brown. out? Brown. Brown. Well and done, Otis. Teddy bear's brown. Good boy. I made my tower. I just need Can you find the letter? The yeah. word, I mean? I, I only need what else is blue? No so you get the idea, but this is such a good game, especially for Marley's age group, Marley's three. I think and it's I'm a little, four. You're four. And I'm gonna be four. I think it's a little bit um too young for Otis, but Marley's age group it's fab for them, especially home learning. So And I'm gonna be yeah. five. Hello, it's Mrs. Smith here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm your teacher for the day. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> right. So today, Otis. Yeah. Um, right, so we're gonna do some maths today. That's what we've been told to do. Yeah. Okay, well, you like maths, maths, don't you? Maths. But this is what we're doing. So, we are working out what these teens are made up of. How do you get 10? How do you get 11? How do you get 12? How do you get 13? And so on. Do you think I'm a nice teacher? Yep. You're not my teacher, me. Really. Well, I am. Well, I am, mate. Sorry to break it to you. Mum, you have to, because, um... Marley can go back to his nursery, but I can't because the older you get, the more coronavirus you get. I know, right? Right, come on, sweetheart. Marley, we're going to do... Oh, there you go. Good boy. Now keep go, keep working on it. So one... No, not one. Eleven and a one. Ten and one. Ten and one. Good boy. Number is... Is that... One. Good boy. What number is that? Two. Good boy. What number is that? Three. Good boy. What number is this? Um, I have put them in front of the telly watching Ninja Turtle movie because we've done some home learning. And I am going to go up and get the washing because you'll be sick when you see my washing basket. Um, it is embarrassingly overflowed. But I just do like two washes a day. I don't. I honestly don't know how people don't have a washing basket that looks like this. <laughs> it's big as well. Like, I mean, God help me, to be honest. God help me. But, um, yeah, showing the boring jobs too. Wash load number two, this is. Number two, going in. <laughs> Here I am 
with a, <laughs> a pile of washing I can't even carry. Um, I need to leave some space in the washing machine for Corey's training kit because of COVID, they're coming home in their training kit and lucky me, I have to wash it because, yeah, because of COVID basically, they have to take everything home. Um, so I'm having to wash his training kit every day, which is just not what I want or what I need. But it is what it is, isn't it? So my mum has sent the boys their Christmas presents and in there are some tattoos. Fabulous. Cold? And they is want to cut them on. Great. Does anyone else's mum do really annoying things like this? Mama. Right, come on then. Let's put these tattoos on. You did out it, but mummy done it wrong. I did it wrong. Oops. I'm not a tattoo expert like you. And me and Daddy. And Daddy doesn't have any tattoos. Well, Who has tattoos? Granddad. Granddad. Granddad Ron has tattoos. No, Granddad Ron doesn't have tattoos. Granddad Ron is my granddad. No, he doesn't. My stepdad, Lee. Their granddad has tattoos, doesn't he? What is that? Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Look at that. What a beauty. Wow. Um, so what do you think? Yes. Do you want one of those when you grow up? But, but if, if, if I have more, I think it will be even better than just that. Do you? Yeah. What, just like loads and loads? Well, if I have like two more, I think it will be better. Mm. I think I will have... Let's try yours again, Marley, yeah? We have just come out for a little walk and to take um, a picture for Instagram. How do we feel about my hat? I love it, like, I absolutely love it, but I just don't know whether, I don't know, what do we think? It's from Topshop, but it's from ASOS. Um, Otis! But yeah, I'm absolutely, I love it. I just don't know if I'm cool enough to wear it. What do we think, guys? Be honest. <laughs> so, we've just taken some pictures. Picture time, my photographer. Hey, photographer. Top photographer, anyone need someone? Shout me, do you know what I mean? No, don't, because they actually will shout you and you're not, <laughs> um, you're not allowed. Well, you're well, business is business, do you know what I mean? You can't be selfish. <laughs> so these are them. Hi, it's Molly, what's the road? Yeah, job done, back home. So we've just got back from our walk and you guys are going to do some Lego, aren't you? Yeah, yeah me and Daddy are going to do some Lego. What Lego you got then? Um, oh, Iron Man. Yeah. And the water, Batman. The water that, what's on there as well? Batman and Spider Man. And you got that those for Christmas from your granddad Ron, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And Mummy is yeah. going to make spaghetti bolognese. So I am. Um, I'll show you how I make my spaghetti bolognese. You want to know? Um, I use turkey mince because we don't really eat beef, um, or we try not to eat beef. Turkey mince. Yeah, mince. They're not worms. They're not worms. Turkey mince, mushrooms, onion, Worcester sauce, chopped tomatoes. This is my cupboard. Let me show you how embarrassing this is. It is so untidy. If you have got OCD, then that will make you feel sick. Um, oh, I use oregano, pepper, salt. So, yeah, I'm going to make spaghetti on those. I'll show you the finished product after. Mm. Today we're eating our food, but it's like the bit long. We always eat it's our food. It's taking a bit long, is it? So our spaghetti bolognese is ready. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to show everyone. Ta da! Oh, who's that? So, we don't garlic mind. bread. Don't mind. Spaghetti them. bolognese for Otis. 
forget to be on a nose for Marley. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's off the table, babe. I'll just pull my socks up. Daddy? Thank you, thank oh, you. Love this is it. not spaghetti bolognese, it's pasta. Pasta bolognese. We don't really, uh, I can never find whole wheat spaghetti. Yeah. I can only ever Why find whole wheat just, come, um, come no, 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 pasta. So I never make Get some cheese, Molly. spaghetti bolognese. Thanks. Molly's a bit upset because there's some, he's found some onion in there. But it doesn't matter, does it, Molly? Because you, you'll eat onion. You have to try it. You don't, yeah. you haven't even. Exactly. You have to what? You need to try my best. Yeah, good exactly. boy. See. Marley is the broccoli <laughs> king. Yeah. Aren't you, Marley? So we have to make broccoli with everything because Marley's the broccoli king. And, and I'm the broccoli king. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm the bagel king. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the bagel king. What about Daddy? You're, you're the fruit king. The fruit what, what's king. What's <laughs> uh, You're the. Cooking king. Cooking king, yeah. yeah. You're the cooking king. Queen, okay. cooking queen. Nice. So it's, what's the time? It's 20 past six, but my makeup needs to come off. It has been on way longer than I would usually have it on for, just because I've been so busy today. So I thought I would do, I did my get ready with me, and I thought I would do get unready with me, so you can see what products I use. Um, I get lots of questions about my skincare. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would take my makeup off with you. So I use the Elemis Pro Collagen, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I use like a, I don't know, blob, maybe a bit more. And I wet my hands and then rub it in everywhere like massage it into my throat i also go over my eyes because it's not it doesn't sting so i take my eye makeup off with this too don't know if you're supposed to don't know if that's the right thing to do but i do i use this i got it in a pr box i can't remember what brand it is um but it like wipes your makeup off really well it's basically a flannel i use i wash them all the time so i've got these ones the um face halo ones um or flannels i have loads of them so after i've used them like twice i put them in the wash so some warm water i feel like there is no nicer feeling than taking your makeup off it is like my favourite thing to do. I then use, I only use this probably twice a week. I don't use it every night. Um, the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily Tonic. Because there's always stuff left on it. And then, I use the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, my favourite cream. And I use the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Lip Protection Cream. I've run out of this. So I literally stick my finger in. I need to get some more. It's so good. The Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour products. I've also got this one the eight hour cream, it is amazing. If you've got any dry patches or dry areas, that'll clear it up within a few days, it's brilliant. They've got, they have loads and loads of um, different products in their range. They've got like a hand one, a face one. I really recommend it if you've got um, like dry or sensitive skin that you need kind of quick results. So, that is me fresh faced. So it's going to be bath time for the boys in a minute and bedtime for them and then it'll be time to say goodbye from our, our day together. So it is bath and bedtime for the boys so I come in their room and put their clock on. They've got a grow clock um, so you basically set it to whatever time 
you want for it to turn yellow and when it turns yellow it shows them that it's the mornings so they can wake up and then it turns blue when it's night time the boys have had this since they were really little and they do not get out of their bed until the sunshine is up and it's morning so it's really good they also listen to a tape every night so we've got um we need the poo tonight boys and we've got, and we've got um some stars oh yeah and we'll show them the stars after and, our bath and it makes all this Yuck, yuck. Like stars. Mom, but I want to do the piggy game. Um, I also use this on the boys every night Where's after the, the bath. The, the La Roche Posey cream is incredible. Well, well, um, it's really good for sensitive skin or for kids. For anyone, oh. really. It's brilliant. So I love da, that. Da, 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 da. Just having a quick game of this piggy game that my mum bought us for Christmas. It's called Stinky Pig. And you've got to push its belly and pass it as fat as round as fast as you can and if it lands on you when it farts <laughs> you've got to pick up a coin and you the person that wins is with the person with the least amount of coins so Molly's really? a little bit scared of it not me you're gonna win this one ah! <laughs> Jing Jing oh Jing Jing boom <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is a really good calming down uh, um, game before bed. I got four. Right. Bed <laughs> for you. Tomorrow. Time for bed for you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I'm going to show everyone your starlights. Yeah, starlights. So this is the stars show everybody the moon the ceiling show everybody the moon they're so nice I will hang on I can change it to what's it showing tonight it's also got one where it shows different planets come on climb up then son he's showing all the different planets okay wow and there's the moon See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Hope you have a good sleep. Bye, <laughs> bye. The boys are in bed, so it's time to say goodbye. Good night. Um, I'm really tired. We're going to have... Where are you? Corey hasn't really featured much today. He's been at work all day, haven't you? We're going to go downstairs and have a cup of tea. Mm, and sit on stuff. the sofa. And what are we going to watch? Well, I need to upload this uh, vlog, actually. I'll we'll probably play PlayStation. Probably won't. Probably won't. Probably won't. To be fair. Probably won't. <laughs> um, I will. <laughs> he actually will, which is like my... <laughs> what, when he says he's going to play PlayStation, it's just like my absolute No, nah, but worst. what it is, like, we ain't got nothing to watch in it. So. Yeah, but we could just start something. No, nah, there's nothing, there's nothing there's available. Like spending quality, quality time to go on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's not but yeah, anyway. Let's play PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye guys.